Welcome to the pre-recorded presentation for the Oshawa Neighborhood Traffic Management Guide update. This recording was first made available online starting in November 2021. We appreciate you taking the time to participate and provide your feedback. During this presentation, we will be discussing the following information. A review of the study, what were the project objectives when it all began, approximate study timelines and what has been achieved since the last public presentation, the study process, where we will go through a summary of the consultation process from last year and give an overview of the major sections of the updated draft neighborhood traffic management guide, and finally, next steps, where we will discuss the process to finalize the updated neighborhood traffic management guide. The objectives of the Oshawa neighborhood traffic management guide update include creating a new process for addressing traffic issues which reflects current industry standards and best practices, establishing a comprehensive and accountable warranting process to choose traffic management devices, providing a toolbox of the latest traffic management devices that the city can deploy in its roads, and reviewing and recommending policies for 40 km per hour speed limit areas, community safety zones, in-road signs, and other tools. The study received council approval in 2019. Soon after, the steering committee was formed and the terms of reference were developed. After the RFP was submitted and evaluated, the project was awarded to IBI Group. The study team started work with a background review in the summer of 2020. Consultation Part A took place from November 2020 to January of 2021. After Consultation Part A activities were completed, the study team updated the toolbox of traffic management devices, established warranting processes, and developed new traffic management policies through the winter and spring of 2021. This led to the development of the draft updated Neighborhood Traffic Management Guide in the summer of 2021. This presentation is part of the second round of consultation. The final updated Neighborhood Traffic Management Guide is targeted for completion in winter of 2022. Consultation Part A took place from November 2020 to January 2021. During the public consultation phase, a pre-recorded presentation, feedback form, and a crowdsourcing map for traffic calming concerns were made available via the Connect Oshawa website. The public response included 110 completed feedback forms, 332 submissions on the crowdsourcing map with 668 pins placed, and the top three ranking concerns being speeding, vulnerable road user safety, and traffic volumes. The feedback was addressed in the updated draft Neighborhood Traffic Management Guide with a new detailed criteria for related traffic calming warrants. During the stakeholder workshop phase, a presentation with live polling questions was prepared and a discussion was had on the results. The feedback received included the following. There should be flexibility and options for a more streamlined traffic calming implementation process. The amount of public consultation should be reduced and that the process currently takes too long and the revised processes should strike between a data and warrant driven justification method and public support for traffic calming decision making. The feedback was addressed in the updated draft neighborhood traffic management guide with a new process flow, traffic calming toolbox, checklists, and warrants created in collaboration with city staff. The study team has developed an overall process flow for how traffic calming requests will be addressed. Once the traffic calming request is received, it will go through the steps illustrated on the slide to determine if it is eligible for traffic calming measures. The study team has created multiple warrants in the draft neighborhood traffic management guide to help validate and prioritize requests. The warrant shown here is the initial screening checklist, which will help city staff determine if the traffic calming request can be addressed through neighborhood traffic management. Screening criteria mentioned in the checklist include road jurisdiction, road type, road length, history of prior assessments, and the nature of the traffic concern. The draft guide also contains a technical warrant and ranking warrant, which include criteria for speeding, traffic volumes, traffic infiltration, truck volumes, collision rates, and vulnerable road users. The updated neighborhood traffic management guide has a traffic calming toolbox to aid city staff in determining which measures might be suitable to resolve a given issue. Proposed new traffic calming measures are categorized as vertical deflection horizontal deflection, obstructions, and regulatory. The table shown here is a summary for all the traffic calming measures in the toolbox with a quick look at their respective advantages, disadvantages, and where they may be implemented. Each traffic calming measure in the toolbox is described in detail elsewhere in the guide. Its purpose, approximate costs, applicability, impacts, advantages, and disadvantages are outlined. If applicable, temporary measures, case studies, and typical signage corresponding to the measure are also shown. 
A new development checklist was created to guide developers and city staff in the development proposal and review process with the goal of reducing the need for future traffic calming retrofits. This tool is also intended to encourage the design of safer and more enjoyable streets for all users. Only a small portion of the full new development checklist is shown here. To stay connected and share feedback, you can visit the Connect Oshawa project website to complete the feedback form to share your thoughts on the new draft Neighborhood Traffic Management Guide and submit questions related to the draft guide or the overall study. Feedback will be received from November 29, 2021 to January 24, 2022. After this presentation, we will conduct the remainder of Public and Stakeholder Consultation Part B to receive feedback on the Draft Neighborhood Traffic Management Guide, review comments and suggestions from public and other stakeholders, and provide the final Neighborhood Traffic Management Guide report to the City. As mentioned, you can stay connected by visiting the Connect Oshawa project website for more information and project updates. You can also contact the project managers with any additional comments or questions about the study. Thank you very much for participating and providing valuable feedback on the study, and we look forward to connecting with you again soon.